So guys, this is the second part of the video where we are discussing the top 10 query asked in the interview question. Top 5 query we have discussed in the first part of the video. Now in this video, we will discuss about the remaining 5 queries. So what is the next query? Write a query to retrieve the employee with even and odd numbers. Okay, so let us copy this query and let us run it in the SQL assistant. So in the employee table, we have employees with the even number also and we have the employees with the odd number also. So if you want to retrieve the employees with the odd number, what you can do is you can just give a condition in the where clause where employee ID mod of 2 equals to 1. So that means if the residue is 1, you will be getting the employees with the odd numbers. So see, you are getting the employees who are having who are ending with the odd numbers. So similarly, if you want to get the employee with the even number, you can just simply give a condition in the where clause where employee ID mod of two is equals to zero. That means if the residue is zero, we'll be getting the employees with the even number. See the employees are with the even number. Okay. Now what is the next query? The next query is what is the difference among rank, dense rank and row number function? This is also one of the most asked question in any interview. These are the ranking function which you use in your SQL query, right? What is the difference between all these functions? Let us just run this SQL query one by one. So these are the query that we have to run. The first ranking function that we are using in our query is rank function. All right. Now before running this ranking function, let us just try to analyze the data in the table itself. So we are doing a query on the sales live table. So if you can observe the data over here in the result set, you have product ID column, you have a sale date column and you have the amount column as well. And if you sort the amount column, you have different amounts available for the respective product ID, which has been sold on a particular date. All right. Now, if you run this query with the rank function, what exactly we are doing? We are doing select a dot star. That means we are retrieving all the column. We are running a rank over order by amount. We are sorting the amount in the descending order. All right. Let us run this query. Now, what is the result set? As far as this ranking is concerned, you can see it is giving ranking on the basis of this amount which you have sorted. If you have a duplicate value in the amount, it is giving the same ranking number, but it is skipping the next ranking number. Here it has given 5, 5, 5 and 6 and 7 it has skipped, right? And directly it has given the 8th ranking. So this is the default behavior of a rank function. All right. Now if we run the second query, here we have used a function called row number. Okay, so what exactly we are doing, we are doing the same thing as per our previous query, but here we are just using a row number function. Let us run this query and let us analyze the result set. Now again, we have done a sorting in the descending order on the amount column. So what exactly is happening over here, even if it is getting the similar value, it is giving it the next ranking number. So as far as your row number is concerned, it will be giving the straight ranking number that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So no matter if it gets the duplicate value, it will give the sequential ranking number. This is the default behavior of your row number function. All right. Now the third query in the third query, we have used a dense rank function. Okay. And we are doing the similar thing. We are doing order by on the amount in the descending order. Let us run this query. Now from the result set, you can see it is also giving us the ranking, but if you can observe that here, if it gets the duplicate value, it will give the same ranking number for 15,000, 15,000, 15,000. It has given the same ranking number that is 444 and it has not skipped the next ranking number. Certainly for the 12,000, it has given the ranking as fifth and then later on it has given the six seven eight and nine okay so this is the default behavior of your dense rank function so what is the difference between rank row number and dense rank rank function if it founds duplicate value it will give the same ranking number but it will skip the next ranking number 
as far as your row number is concerned it will give the straight ranking number from 1 2 3 4 5 like this and as far as your dense rank function is concerned if it finds the same value it will give the same ranking number but it will not skip the next ranking number all right i hope you have understood the difference between rank row number and dense rank function it is the frequently asked question in any of the interview now what is the next question the next question is how to copy all the rows from one table to another table without using an insert statement so let's suppose that you want to create a table and you want to copy all the rows from one table to another table and you do not want to use any create table statement or any insert statement then this is the easiest way that you can you know create a table and you can insert your data from one table to another table let us just copy that query and let us run it so the first query will be create table employee underscore copy as employee table so here this is the table that you are going to create and this is the table from which you are copying the structure and you are copying the data as well and at last you have to give a statement called create table employee underscore copy as employee with data that means you are creating the similar structure along with the data as well okay the table is created now if you want to cross verify whether the table is created and the data is inserted or not you can just simply do a select star from the employee underscore copy table and see the data has been inserted into the employee table and the table is also created this table previously was not there this was created and the data was copied now you can have a similar kind of requirement that you want to create a table as this table but you do not want to copy the data you only want to copy the ddl of the table only the structure of the table so for that simply what you can do is you can just run this query create table employee underscore copy as employee with no data if you run this query the table will be created but the data will not be inserted all right i hope you understood that requirement now what is the next query the next query is how to convert rows to column using sql this is the sql query which i have been asked couple of time in lot of interview question that how do you convert rows into column so first let us understand what is the table we have and then finally we will try to understand this query also let us just query on this particular account underscore ledger table so you have the column year number and then you have quarter and then you have sales available for these particular quarters and years right now for 2015 you have q1 q2 q3 q4 and for 2016 also you have q1 q2 q3 and q4 available and these are the respective sales now our requirement is that these particular rows we want to convert it into a column so what will be the query the query will be that first column that we want to retrieve as year number and then after that we want to convert this quarter into columns so first of all we are using a sum aggregate function and it will do a sum for the respective sales whatever sales that we are doing for the q1 and here we are using a case statement case when quarter one when it will be a quarter one then it will calculate the sum of sales as q1 and again we are doing the similar thing a case statement when it is a quarter 2 then it will do a sum of sales and it will be coming as q2 respectively q3 and q4 so we are doing a case statement and we are giving a certain condition in the case statement case when if it is a quarter 4 then you do a sum of sales and make it as a quarter 4 okay and finally we are retrieving a data from the account ledger table and we are doing a group by year number so for every group it will calculate this particular sales right let us run this query and see your rows are converted into a column since you have created a group by year number so for 2016 okay it is calculating q1 q2 q3 and q4 and for 2015 it is calculating the respective q1 q2 q3 and q4 so this is the way you can convert your rows into column all right now what is our next question the next question is what is the difference between truncate and delete operation and this is also one of the asked question in interviews that what is the difference between a truncate operation and a delete operation 
what is written over here it is used to as far as your delete is concerned it is used to delete some specific data and as far as your truncate is concerned it is used to delete the entire data of the table okay and second thing is that you can use a where clause as far as your delete is concerned you can use a where clause but in truncate you cannot use a where clause all right if you want to delete some specific data like delete from this employee table where employee number is equal to 101 so you are deleting only specific row that employee id is 101 you are not deleting the entire data from the table okay but if you want to delete the entire data from the table you can use a truncate but you cannot use a where clause in your truncate table so to delete a specific data you can use a delete operation with a where clause but if you want to delete entire data of the table then you can use a truncate now what is the other difference it locks the table row before deleting the rows it locks the entire table okay now as far as your delete operation is concerned we can roll back the changes but once your table is truncated we cannot roll back the changes okay as far as your delete is concerned it is slower than truncate as far as your truncate is concerned it is faster than delete all right now as far as your teradata application is concerned you do not have truncate statement available in your teradata so instead of truncate you have one operation called delete employee the table name and all so if you want to delete the complete data from the table you can go for that option and if you want to delete some specific row you can just mention that where clause that specific condition and only that specific row will be deleted okay i hope you have understood this top 10 sql query question for the interviews if you have any doubt you can ask me question in the comment section i'll be happy to answer i hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video hit the like button give me feedback in the comment section and if you want to learn any of the unix command like awk command scd command grab command vi editor find command then i have given the link in the description box and i have given the link in the i button also you can check out those videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel that will be a motivation for us to create more such videos if you really want to grow in your it career then kindly subscribe to our channel till then be safe stay at home keep learning keep smiling until we meet again this is pawan signing off